Hey everybody, Drew Gibson here, and this is the 2023 bag check. Las Vegas challenge is in one week, so we're getting the bag dialed in, making sure we're there, ready, trying to defend the title, and here's what I'm throwing. So here we have, first off, the bag. We have my Legend, custom Legend bag. Huge thank you to Squatch for the support they've been showing me over the last few seasons. Uh, we actually do have a custom bag, brand new bag coming this year, so please keep an eye out for that. Also, use code DREW for free shipping on any of their other products. So just to jump right into it, here we have the putters. I'm using EV7 Penrose and OG Firm. So same putters I've used uh, for the last two seasons. This is my third season using this set of putters. So definitely trust them, definitely love them. Um, these are the prototype ones, so they're a little thinner than an EV7 Penrose you might typically find on the rack, but definitely love having my bag. I always do use a chalk bag. This is a chump chalk bag. I have a few minis here, um, some gifts that some fans and some people have made for me custom. So stuff I like to keep. Um, Got to use a chalk bag though. I love it. I don't, I don't abuse it, but I definitely like to use it. Um, here we'll jump right into my fairway drivers here. So to start off, we have three forged eras. So we have a tie-dye one, we have a brand new one I'm trying to work in the bag, and then we have the same white one I've used pretty much all of last season. So just trying to work this one in the bag to have a little more of a consistently overstable version of the forged era, as I really like the feel of these in the woods and in the open, but these ones are getting just a little straight. So three forged eras, and then we have my trusty scepter. So huge thank you to Infinite Disc for their support. Big thank you. Um, you know, having an open bag like this and being able to throw all these molds just simply wouldn't be possible without Alan and the crew. So huge thank you to Infinite Disc. If you're looking in the market to buy any discs, make sure to go to Infinite to check them out. And then we have my beautiful Eagle. I, I love this disc so much. It's one of those discs that like if there's water or anything in play, I actually probably don't throw it because I don't want to lose it. I don't have very many backups for this exact run. So fairway drivers, overstable, relatively stable. And then my assortment of errors definitely keeps me in a good spot for the fairway drivers. Distance drivers, pretty simple. We got the famous Alabama, Halo Boss, and then Halo Destroyer. This is kind of my bomber, flip up, hyzer flip. Kind of, I could use it in the woods. I can trust it to go out of gap, still flip, and it's not gonna just kind of burn over to the right. The Halo Boss, I really only use for big, big distance. Um, this thing goes so far, it sometimes even impresses me, um, even when I throw it, which I'm getting old, so when I impress myself, that's a good feeling. Um, and then we have the Halo Destroyer. This is one of them. Um, I kind of have them cycled out for events I'm going to play or how windy it's going to be. So last year, Vegas, um, I really was leaning on this one pretty hard. So I'm just bringing it back there just because I feel like it was a good spot in the bag. And it's still, the flight characteristics are still very similar to they were last time we were there. So jumping into my last one, kind of a trick disc. My buddy Braden gave this to me. Just a Roadrunner roller. I'm out there in Vegas. There's a lot of times I'm using a roller whether it's to get extra distance, get under some trees or whatever. So definitely a needed disc, uh, even at a big wide open course like that. Running into my mid-ranges now, we got the famous yellow buzz with the ring on it. We got the Jumpman buzz. We have my Bros for Change RPM disc. I love this disc. We are renaming it for US purposes, the White Heron. Um, formerly it's the Kotuku. So, if you like this disc, you're looking for overstable mid-range, definitely be sure to check this out. It immediately made a spot in my bag. And then we have the Finish Line Disc Supra. This is our new mid-range. Um, this is a disc I'm really gonna be looking forward to adding to the bag and relying on throughout the 2023 season. This thing has fit in my bag perfect. At some point during the season, once I kind of learned enough of these, I'm gonna probably start replacing my buzzes with the Supra as it kind of goes on and as I'm able to learn them and beat them in. Um, Cause as you can see here, this one's pretty new um, and I'm really loving it for the bag. I'm just kind of waiting to get a few more to kind of push the other discs out of my bag. And last but not least, we have my two throwing putters, my same white KC Pro AVR with the champion AVR stamp on it. I've thrown for, man, probably 12 years and I've had this disc in the bag, you know, while I've had been able to throw it whether it was on Innova or open bag. So definitely been a staple in my bag. And at this point, it's probably more like a, <laughs> Tiny little disc that just flips and goes to the right. Then we have the finish line disc pace. So 
This is our newest disc to the finish line lineup, and this is our overstable putter. Only comes in premium plastic at the moment. So huge thank you to Finish Line Disc. I mean, I own it, but we support it. We do a lot of stuff with it. So Finish Line Disc is awesome. Make sure to check them out. Make sure to go to infinitedisc.com to get your Finish Line Disc and all of the brands that you could think of. Huge thank you to Pulse Disc Golf for filming this today. We'll catch you guys in the next one.